Thanks for joining us for the Member Excite presentation. The Member Excite presentation is informative, interesting to the audience, and showcases the strengths of the presenter as an entrepreneur and their area of expertise. It's not a sales pitch, it's a 10 minute educational and insightful exploration into what they do. And of course, it's exciting. I, we have Sherry Dumbrell from The Essential Spending Planner with an Excite presentation on money truths, changing spending behaviors. Knowing the truth of your business and personal finances will change your money mindset very quickly. Being 100% honest about your money truths is the key to financial success. Keeping your business and personal money separate is also a key to money success and a spending plan is the answer. For those of you who don't know, Sherry Dumbrell is a certified spending planner. She's a stay-at-home mom of five children for 27 years and learned great time and money management skills. She stopped budgeting nearly 20 years ago when she found a better way to manage her finances. She now goes beyond budgeting with cash flow spending plans to manage her finances and now her business. She teaches financial literacy. Well, she teaches financial literacy not only in school, because uh, it's rarely taught in school. And she's an innovative system that eliminates money stress and quickly brings financial peace to all that she helps. Sherry is a happy spender who plans, saves, and then spends. So I'm Sherry. I am a happy spender. Uh, as it said in the introduction, I plan my spending, I save for my spending, and then I happily spend, which I'm currently doing for five weeks in the U.S. with my son, who also is a happy spender, and uh, visiting my family here. Uh, okay. Um, so, yes, I am a happy spender that goes beyond budgeting. I stopped budgeting in 2003 when I found the spending plan system. Our businesses, why do we have businesses? We're all business owners. We do it, hopefully, number one, because you love others and you want to help solve other people's problems. Number two, it's because you're passionate about the solution that you have. And then third is because it brings in money and income. If the money and income is your number reason for having a business, then chances are you may be one that won't have that for very long. We have to um, do it because we really genuinely want to help others and then the money will come. Um, in our, in life, we have our life costs and we have our style costs. Now, all of us, we have the same basic life costs. We have to have a roof over our head. We have to eat, electricity, water, transport, but it's our style costs that become varied between everybody. On, on what we um, For me, I like to travel home on a yearly basis. But we are both, for business owners, we have our personal finances, plus we have our business. So if you're not good in your personal finances, then chances are you're not going to be good in your, your business finances. So it's really important to have a money management system that will help you plan your spending, save for it so that you can happily spend. So in our personal, we have our life costs but we also have life costs in our business those basic things which i'll show in a second that you need to actually have a business then we also have the style in your personal as well as in your business but again i teach money truths first things first um, so that um, things go smoothly and you have financial peace now as we know today interest rates are going up fuel is going up uh, a head of lettuce when I left two weeks ago from Brisbane was $11. Um, and those are just to name a few of the reasons why families, why business owners are struggling and they need help. They need a better way to manage their money. So I am a spending planner, a certified through the Spending Planners Institute. I am not a, fi a financial counselor, which is the ones you go to when you're struggling with money, or I am not a financial planner, which you go to when you have excess money. I'm the one in the center that there was a big gap that helps everyday people and everyone lives in the center part of their day-to-day -day personal finances. So I educate and then I give a system, a proven system that's helped tens of thousands of people um, eliminate money stress. So I focus on 
their day-to-day -day budget or spending plan I teach and cash reserve. But there's other areas in the financial things that we have in our life, but everything starts with those basic things that people tend to just kind of put their head in sand and ignore. But it's these two things that allow everything else to happen. People have money problems, but not because they choose it. It's just that they easily can overcommit because with the budget, it doesn't give them the full information. And so they can overcommit. But you simply don't know what you don't know. And that's what I do is I teach people what they don't know and the good news about a spending plan. So traditional budgets are broken. They lack the third dimension, which is timing or cash flow of your income and expenses. We weren't taught it in school. And so we need to be proactive to learn it. Now I'm going to uh, put in the link later, a, a LinkedIn post, how to keep your personal and business finances separate. It is so important. And I once I work with people for their personal first, get their personal uh, spending plan created, then I help them with their business. And I see so many who, who, com um, who have them combined and that's, a recipe for disaster and money stress. So have you been guilty of robbing, robbing Peter to pay Paul, robbing one account to, to pay another account, robbing your personal to prop up your business or your business to prop up an unexpected bill? Um, that brings a lot of stress and there's an answer to that. But you have to know where you wanna go. You have to know what your goal is. And for me, it's to have financial peace. It's not to have financial total wealth. It's to have financial peace that I know that everything's taken care of. And so what I teach is I teach people and show people their financial truth, what their truth is today and what their truth will be in the future. And that when people see their truth, it totally changes their, their mindset. Um, because you can't, you can't ignore it. And then once you know your financial truth, then you have to be 100% honest in following that truth. Um, and so one of the main truths I teach which to some people come as a shock and a new information is you save first and spend second. Get your head out of the sand, understand what your, um, how much it's costing you to spend your for your life costs as well as your style costs in both your personal and your business. I teach financial self-reliance to teach you in your personal and your business to be self-reliant so that you're not reliant on the government or you know family or people when something might happen. And of course, 2020 taught us that the unexpected can come and a lot of people and a lot of businesses failed because they weren't prepared and weren't self-reliant. So again, I teach basic truths, knowing what your needs are as opposed to your wants and knowing the difference and getting you what you really want. And all of us will want an effective, uh, uh, prosperous business. Um, so I'm just gonna move down to the life costs of your business. Those are the things that you have to make sure you can cover first. Is one that you can pay yourself because you have a personal life and, and those all those basic things that are required where I see a lot of business owners having a lot of style costs in their business and uh, and not even knowing how much they need to bring in to cover those things. So a spending plan will give you clarity on how much you need to bring in in your business to pay for your life and style costs of your business, as well as pay yourself to cover your lifestyle of your business. But the choice is yours of how you spend your money. Um, the choice is yours, but the consequences aren't. Okay, and so uh, eventually all your choices will catch up with you um, financially. Hopefully those consequences are good. For me, the consequences of my choices for the last few years since um, has paid off now because I'm on a five week holiday visiting my family. So uh, there's a new way to manage your money. I stopped in 2003, that's my family in 2003, about 20 years ago. That was us two years, two and a half years ago, right before COVID hit. Thank goodness we all came. All my children have spending plans and uh, we were able to come and visit family and I was just allowed to come back now. 
uh, due to not being in lockdown. And so basically a spending plan is about looking into your future and planning your spending as opposed to looking in the rear view mirror and tracking where you spent your money, where the past is the past. And so I look out the windscreen when I'm going to the mountains, which I'm at the bottom of the Rocky Mountains right now. I don't look in my rear view mirror because I would crash and not get to my destination. So budget is budgeting is broken. It just shows you it's possible to pay your bills. It does not show you how. It does have income and expenses, um, but focuses more on income. Whereas, uh, and it, again, it shows you it's possible. I don't want that possible. If you tell me it's possible that you'll be good, that will bring me anxiety and stress. I want to know 100% sure. And Mr. that's Valerie. what it's- Hello. Andrew, you Valerie. Okay. Um, um. It introduces timing, and that's the missing factor that a budget has is timing. And so I know 100% that all my bills are being paid at home because I can see all my future bank statements, all my future accounts for the next 12 months. I know everything. So it is like having a future a crystal ball seeing your future bank account balances as opposed to the bank statements you get in the mail that's all in the past. And it's also a GPS showing you exactly how to go. And so it's a financial blueprint. And so it's really important as business owners to have clarity of your finances in your business as well as your personal. And I take it that's my beep. Oh, that's my beeper on my phone to be the 10 minutes. Um, so basically, again, I teach people how to protect their money from you in your personal as well as your business in effective bank structure. I do it with a simple software, which is only $10 a month, um, which gives you so much um, insight and 100% clarity in your thing. It predicts the future and shows you how to pay your expenses, not that it's just possible. You can see if you're going to be short in six months time so that you can do something about it now. So how would you feel or people you work with or service feel if they knew all their bills were covered for the next 12 months? That's why I love working with professionals, especially who are, say, mortgage brokers, financial planners, because they're it. The people are investing money or are taking money and it this will show them that they can easily do it. So what are the costs that you or your clients are paying due to a lack of financial literacy or an ineffective money management system? My favorite saying is multiply your time and money by giving yourself emotional permission to invest time and money today for more time and money tomorrow. 19 years ago, I created my spending plan and now I just, I spend as little as 10 minutes a month on my 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 finances because I took the time to decide how I was going to spend my money, what was most important to me, and now I just follow my plan and it's easy. So I help people, literally help them create their plan, hold their hand literally, that a lot of the other uh, financial professionals, they have other areas that they expertise in and, um, and I take, I can literally help them with that very foundation so that they can come to other services and, and uh, have money to spend. Um, and so I am Sherry, I am a happy spender and I help others become a happy spender. And right that on. is yep. it. So any questions? Thank you, Sherry, fantastic. Um, <clears throat> My quick question, and then um, I, if anybody else, you can throw your hand up. Um, we, we, yeah, Mika Mikayla, you get to lead off because uh, you're more important than I am, that's for sure. <laughs> Thank you, Sherry. That was very thorough. So I appreciate that. Uh, it was quick, but it was really thorough. Uh, my only question would be, when you do work with someone, what is the time frame? in that, how long is that whole process? Yes, and so basically I work with, uh, I work with people for six months. That's how I started, but now I do an eight week group course, which has been very effective. But generally we get them in, we get them uh, created their plan. And then I like 
to support them for six months in a membership, which is um, so that they get that because it is a different way of looking at things. Budgeting is a lot about tracking the past. We're all about the future. And so it's helping them create that uh, those new habits and the new way of thinking. And then I teach them, teach your kids, you know, teach that younger generation. And so, uh, yeah, so it, it can be as little as some people, if they have a working budget, they can get this working in a week or two. Um, but it just depends. Thank you for great that question. question. Great question, great answer. Um, and you know what, with our, our kids, um, they're much more into show than tell. Um, so what they see awesome. happening, um, I, I have found makes a big difference. Um, and to your teaching, uh, Sherry, just personally, I have found when we decided that we had X number of variable spending dollars, the, the fun, whatever, I forget what you called it, but that, that kind of outside of our fixed stuff. And when it was done, we would just say to the kids, oh, we've used up our fun money for the, the week. We're going to, uh, we're going to uh, figure something out for the weekend. Um, and it's, uh, it, it's very freeing. So I love what yeah, you're teaching. And, and if I can just share, I have a, an online course, Kids and Money. It's the 17 money truths to teach your kids before they're 18. It's actually only $17.18 because 17 before 18, because um, we don't want them to be, we want to empower our children and uh, and also teach them that when they see us spending, that we actually save for it first. So yeah, they only just see us spending. We have to have them get them involved in our family budget so that they can see that we saved that money before we went and spent. Well done. And Sherry was asking, you have a handout for today's talk? Does no, Marie, Marie was asking if Sherry has a handout. I do have a handout. And if you want to just put your, um, well, I'll, I'll I have all the information. If you just make sure you put all your informations um, in the chat, um, I can do that. I am kind of in holiday mode, so <laughs> but I do have a handout that I can definitely. Yeah. And uh, Jerry, thank you. you for mentioning that about children and spending because we've been teaching our son to save and put some to George's tithing, and then also some towards whatever he wants to save to put towards his fun money activities, whatever he wants to purchase for himself. So um, we tell them we don't want to, whatever you earn, you've got to save at least 10%. And then that's just our general rule of thumb. So I'm glad that you mentioned that because it's really important to teach our kids. Otherwise the world teaches the kids and they teach us to do. Do other, get in debt. <laughs> exactly. And, and the things that I focus on is yes, is the unexpected. So I'm really big on having money for the unexpected. And then the other one is the long-term expenses. Those things that you put your head in the sand and don't think I have to replace that fridge. And so we have it. What do you have to replace in your home in the next 10 years? We're going to put that in your plan so that when it comes, it's only a few dollars a week. And when that comes, you have the money. There are no ex unexpected expenses in life if you have a plan. Right on. Um, just briefly, I was a financial counselor for... Um, uh, 12 years and I could say that I wish my clients could have all got on to Sherry's course now I did sneak in there in the chat box she has an online course that I helped curate and I thoroughly endorse um, Sherry um, she it is at extremely um, an excellent course and you'll get a lot out of it so you can either do the online or do the personal one-on-one -on -one coaching but uh, thoroughly from a financial counseling point of view it's a must all Thank right, you, fantastic. and it's good to see you, Karina. Yeah. <laughs>